Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for May the 29th, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, Teva agreed to pay $1.2 billion under a deal with the US Federal Trade Commission to settle antitrust claims. The agreement follows allegations that Teva's Cephalon unit illegally blocked generic competition to the sleep disorder therapy Provigil in the US. In addition, Sources suggested that Pfizer has entered into negotiations to acquire Selectis for as much as 1.5 billion euros. Pfizer obtained a 9.5% stake in Selectis last year as part of a partnership to co-develop cancer therapies. Also featured, AstraZeneca will study its anti pdl one immune checkpoint inhibitor MEDI4736 in combination with Eli Lilly's VEGF receptor 2 agonist Cyramza in solid tumours. The Phase 1 trial will be sponsored by Eli Lilly, although further details of the collaboration, including tumour types to be studied and financial terms, were not disclosed. In other news, Merck and Co and Amgen expanded an existing collaboration studying the anti-PD-1 therapy Keytruda with the oncolytic immunotherapy TVEC. The companies plan to conduct a Phase 1 study in patients with a recurrent or metastatic squamous cell carcinoma of the head and neck. And finally... A phase 3 study of Heron Therapeutics Sustol met its main goal for the prevention of delayed onset chemotherapy induced nausea and vomiting following highly emetogenic chemotherapy. CEO Barry D. Court said our immediate focus is now the resubmission of our new drug application to the FDA, which we expect in mid-2015. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.